All you convicted felons, come out and vote today. Mike spent 20 years in jail for drugs offenses in Florida. He lost his freedom and his right to vote until now. This is the first time you can vote. What, yes. what does that mean to you? Oh, it's like um, having a new life. It, it really means a lot to me because I'm a convicted felon and it took a very, very long time for me to get my rights back. Mike's one of thousands who benefited from a change in law in Florida, but many missed yeah. out. In 2018, more than a million former offenders got the right to vote in a massive extension of democracy. But a year later, campaigners say the majority effectively lost it again. After Republican politicians here ruled all fines had to be paid off before voter rights were restored. Hello. Hi, my name's Linda, and I want to give you some information about voting. Florida's black and poor communities have been hardest hit by the change in rules. Linda's one of hundreds of volunteers trying to get people to the polls. Are you a convicted felon? Yes, ma'am. But many, like Thomas, have given up. I feel like at the end of the day, I vote really doesn't matter. We have a lot of, lot of citizens have lost their votes here. If thousands of former convicts voted, it could swing the results here. You got Puerto Ricans, you got Mexicans, you got the Haitian people and the blacks, and some whites uh, has been affected by uh, their rights because they've been in prison and they don't know their rights. Hey, how you doing? How are y'all doing? They're just giving you so you know where to go vote at. Republicans who support the law say the fines are part of the sentence so must be paid before voting rights are restored. But without jobs or homes, many can't afford them. And when you get out, you thought your debt to society's been paid, but I thought mine was all done. They hit me with like $3,800 in court costs. Campaigners believe it's a deliberate tactic to keep people away from the polls. Overwhelmingly, black communities tend to vote Democrat. Do you think there's a bit of voter suppression in this decision? For the state of Florida, I would definitely say yes, simply because it's been said over time that individuals, especially African-Americans, they are going to vote Democrat, especially if they get their voting rights back. Let my people vote! Let my people vote! These activists with celebrities like LeBron James are trying to pay off the debts, but time's run out. Our vote! At least three quarters of a million of Florida's former felons will miss out on this election. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Florida.